There's a fine line when it comes to the difference between inspiration and just straight up copying and theft. And listen, I'm no expert, but I do wanna share my thoughts in case any of you are struggling with this. Hey, I'm Becca with The Happy Ever Crafter, and there's a lot I could share about copying in the creative world, but in this video, I specifically wanna to talk to beginner artists. Let's be honest, we all have to learn from somewhere, and copying is not a bad thing. From the day we're born, we copy our parents in order to learn, so copying is good. But there does come a point where copying is not okay anymore, and that's the point where people tend to get stuck, and that's the point that I wanna talk about in this video. First, I wanna explain a few things, and then I have four actual tips that I'm gonna give you to avoid getting stuck in awkward copying situations, and then I actually have one little known fact about copying that blew my mind when I first got started that I wanna share with you. First of all, I wanna highly recommend that you read the book Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. He is far more eloquent than I could ever be at explaining all of this stuff about copying, and Everything he said in that book has definitely shaped the way that I see copying or stealing as he refers to it. So I definitely recommend that you read that book because it really influenced a lot of the things that I'm going to say in this video. One of the big things that he talks about in that book and one of the things that really stuck with me is that honestly, everything is a copy of something else. Every idea has been inspired by a different idea. And so does that mean that every time you have an idea or you make a creation, you should be crediting somebody? Not necessarily. It's the idea of stealing like an artist. So essentially all the time you're stealing bits and pieces and thoughts and ideas from all different places and then ultimately you take them all and you put them together into your own creation, which will end up being original because it's got all these different influences from different places that have inspired specifically you. I find that where this gets tricky though is when you're learning different art techniques. It's really easy to get caught up in copying your instructor's style and sticking with just that style. Copying is fine when you're learning, in fact it's actually probably the best way to be learning. But if you only learn from one person or one source and you don't expand past that, gathering inspiration and stuff from other sources, all you're gonna end up doing is copying that person's exact style and, in short, stealing from them. Not only will you be stealing from them though, you'll also be sort of racing to the bottom when it comes to creativity because you aren't setting yourself apart. And that's kind of the name of the game when you're an artist. To me, the long story short is this. Understand that you are always being influenced by other people, even subconsciously, and those ideas are gonna be in the back of your head. So when you go to create, you're naturally being inspired and influenced by other people's work that came ahead of yours. All of that is totally okay and normal, and it's not something that you need to be afraid of when you're putting your own work out there. It's just naturally gonna happen. It happens to all of us. The danger zone is when you fixate on one person or one style or one piece and you try to replicate that in everything that you do and then call it your own. That's when it turns into copying or theft. This is a big topic and there are a ton of nuances, so I just wanna give you a couple quick tips to help you avoid being in that danger zone yourself. These are sort of guidelines and things that I've picked up along the way that I use as rules for myself to make sure that I don't get myself into situations where I feel like I'm uncomfortable or someone else is uncomfortable with what I'm sharing. Tip number one, use copying to learn. You can see someone else's work and completely copy that exact piece into your notebook and take it apart and see pieces that you like and copy things and just really try and replicate it for yourself to learn. But don't share it. And if you share it, you have to credit. You cannot pretend that it's your own work. Just always credit if you're using something or copying something to learn. Tip number two, draw inspiration from other industries. So it's great to follow a lot of different calligraphers and letterers and learn from all different people who have different styles, but it's also great to learn from totally different outside sources. That's where you're gonna get some inspiration. So maybe it's nature, maybe it's architecture, maybe it's a car, maybe it's you know just food sitting in your kitchen that you like the color of and you in incorporate that into your work. These are all places that you're gonna to start to draw things from, and the more bits and pieces you can take from different places, the less likely that anything you do is gonna end up being unoriginal or copyable. Copied? Copyable? Knocked off? Ripped off? Whatever, you get what I'm saying. 
Tip number three, as a general rule, I always like to tell this to beginners, if you can remember if you can remember where you got an idea from as you're working on it, you should be crediting that person. So if you're making a piece and you are doing something that you know in the back of your head you got from a picture that you saw on Instagram earlier that day, and you know in your mind that that is from somebody else, then it's an easy way to know that you should be crediting them. If it's something that you start drawing and you, you kind of feel like, oh, I might have seen this technique somewhere else, but I can't really remember where, it was a long time ago, and it's just kind of like embedded in my brain, then that's different because you're definitely not knocking off the exact thing. But if you saw something an hour ago and it really stuck in your head and now you're gonna write that exact same thing or draw that exact same thing, then it's an instance where you should be crediting the person. And then tip number four, just kind of really easy. If you feel like you are a little bit uncomfortable or if you feel like it's a little too close to comfort and you're not sure if you should be crediting somebody, the answer should be yes. It's kind of as simple as that. If it makes you a little bit uncomfortable, it means it's too close and that means you should credit the person. You're also never gonna lose anything by crediting somebody. Oftentimes, if you credit somebody, you end up just communicating with that artist, and I've made friends that way. So it's a, just a kind of a win-win. So to recap, it all kind of boils down to this. Copying isn't inherently bad. It's actually a really good idea and a really great way to learn. But when in doubt, give the shout out. <laughs> Oh my god, I felt so smart when I wrote that. And lastly, a lot of people are worried not only about putting their own work out and getting accused of copying, but they're afraid of putting their own work out and getting copied. And so this is gonna make you feel a lot better about that, I think. Ready? Here it is. You do not have to register a copyright for your work to be copyright. A copyright exists from the moment you create something. You don't have to register it. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. You are automatically protected by copyright for anything that you create the minute you create it. I know, right? I always, always, always thought that you had to register and pay or do whatever paperwork to have a copyright on your work to avoid getting ripped off, but you don't. It's automatic. Now this can get a little bit complicated and I'm not an attorney, but I have a friend who is and I've done an interview with her before about copyright and trademarks for creatives. So I'm gonna put that as the next video that you can click over and watch, but I hope this one was helpful. I hope you feel a little bit more comfortable now with sharing your work and um, when in doubt, give the shout out. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that.